Medical Watch now. ALS patients are hoping a new stem cell treatment will be approved by regulators. This week, the Food and Drug Administration will consider approval of Neurone, a stem cell treatment from drug maker Brainstorm. ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, has few treatment options, and desperate patients have been lobbying the FDA for a year. But officials say the only study done on the procedure did not show a benefit to patients. Also, two new studies hoping to clear up the mysteries of long COVID. The studies are examining the biology behind the chronic condition with an aim to pinpoint the hallmarks of it. Experts say long COVID can often be misdiagnosed as depression or a mental condition. Identifying biomarkers would give scientists an objective way to identify who has long COVID and exactly how to treat it. A new study claims tobacco companies are responsible for hooking Americans on junk food. In the 80s, tobacco giants Philip Morris and R.J. Reynolds acquired Kraft, General Mills, and Nabisco. Now, by the 2000s, they had offloaded those companies, but a new study finds that during the years of tobacco industry ownership, junk foods were more likely to contain ingredients that drive people to crave and overeat them than those owned by other companies. In the past 30 years, these foods have been linked to a surge in obesity and diet-related diseases. Up next here, 